The alleged meddling in the 2016 US presidential election still dominates headlines stateside. Russian meddling into the 2016 election. Russian interference. Russia is again trying to disrupt our elections. Russia did meddle in the 2016 election. But you don't need a history lesson to understand that foreign meddling is a global game, one that the US plays very well. Through our history, when we tried to manipulate or influence elections or even overturned governments, it was done with the best interests of the people in that country in mind, given the traditional reverence for human rights. According to studies, between 1946 and the year 2000, great powers intervened 117 times in foreign affairs, with the US making up a large chunk of those statistics. I uh, study uh, partisan electoral interventions, in other words, situations when great powers uh, intervene in elections in other countries in an attempt to determine uh, the election result. The United States intervened in 81 elections of this, uh, in 81 uh, elections in this manner in 47 countries for this purpose between 1946 and 2000. Here's a few examples. The CIA publicly admitted it was behind the notorious 1953 coup of Iran's democratically elected prime minister. He insisted oil should be nationalized, which perhaps wasn't in the best interest of Iranians, or Washington's it seems. So he was overthrown, and the Shah's rule installed for the next 26 years to safeguard the West's oil ambitions in the country, until it all ended in an anti-Western Islamic revolution. The one who is an enemy is America. That is not based on prejudice or a pessimistic point of view, but rather it stands from experience, from a proper and real understanding of the actual realities of the world. From Iran to Chile, two decades on, and the CIA is supporting a bloody military coup in South America. The Pinochet government imprisoned, tortured and killed some 40,000 or so political enemies, including two US citizens under FBI surveillance. Like Caesar peering into the colonies from distant Rome, Nixon said the choice of government by the Chileans wasn't acceptable to the President of the United States. The attitude in the White House seemed to be, if in the wake of Vietnam I can no longer send in the Marines, then I will send in the CIA. With this in mind, is alleging Russian meddling in the US election a little hypocritical? The re-election campaign of former Russian President Boris Yeltsin was secretly managed by three American political consultants. They spilled the beans to a US magazine about their collaboration with the Clinton White House to bump up his approval ratings. Although the Americans spoke no Russian and worked through translators, they began secretly laying out an American-style campaign to counter the public sentiment running against Yeltsin. The plot was thrilling. So much so, Showtime made a movie about it based on a true story. Who taught the Russians how to play dirty? Tell me you did not just guarantee a win. Whether they wanted to or not. The election were held today, apparently Stalin would get 8%. It seems as though outside intervention in domestic politics is as old as politics itself. And when it comes to US meddling, it'll change your country for the best, whether you want it or not.